Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today, our group will present about the please test concrete. So my name is Muhammad Karol Aiman Muhammad Syafri. So first, what is please test concrete? Please test concrete is a structural material that allows for predetermined engineering stresses to be replaced in members to counteract the stresses that occur when they are subject to loading. It combines the high strength compressive properties of concrete with the high tensile strength of steel. So in ordinary reinforced concrete, stresses are carried by the steel reinforcement whereas pre-stressed concrete supports the load by induced stresses throughout the entire structural element. This makes it more resistant to shock and vibration than ordinary concrete and able to form long thin structures with smaller sectional areas to support equivalent loads. Precise concrete is a form of concrete where initial cooperation is given the concrete before applying the external load so that stress from the external loads are counteract in the desired way during the service period. This initial cooperation is introduced by high strength steel wire or alloys or it can be called by tendon located in the concrete section. So for the principle, the principle behind pre-stress concrete is that compressive stress induced by high, high strength steel tendons in a concrete member before loads are applied will balance the tensile stress imposed the member during service. So these are the figures that show how the pre-stress concrete work. So for number one, for number one it is unstressed beam. Uh, after that for the number two, we can see when the load is applied on the surface of the beam, the beam will be deflected. So it will affect the strength of the con of the concrete. Then for the number three and four, this is, this is where we put the the tendon below the below the beam. So before we uh, we start casting for the beam. We must we must pull the tendon, uh, so the tendon will be in the tension tension condition. So after we have finished casting, we must release the tendon. So the force from the from the tendon will go will go to the will go to the beam. And for the number five and number six we can see the beam uh, go outward. So when the load apply on the surface of the beam, uh, the load will, will give <coughs> uh, a force uh, on the beam and, and, and the beam will be flat. <coughs> so this is the pre-stress construction work. So this is the simple procedure uh, at site. So first, the steel for the concrete must be pulled first before the casting of concrete start. So uh, as we know, the steel must be in tension condition. Then the concrete will be cast around the tension steel with appropriate cross section. This is referred to what, dim what dimension that we need for the concrete. So the purpose of this procedure is to reach the specific strength of the uh, concrete. So it can withstand with any type of load. So then, release the steel, and the steel will be gradually released and transferring the force into the concrete. So it will help to increase the strength of the concrete. So we have found a video, a video that can help you to to be to learn more about the pre-stress concrete. Our daily life we see the many things to happen. Sometimes we ignore them, but sometimes it clicks our mind, that how it is working. What is the principle behind that? If you are one of them, then don't worry, because you are on civil beats. Here you will get detailed description about the principle working behind them. So without wasting much more time let's begin the today's topic, which is known as pre-stressed concrete. Firstly let's understand the concept behind the name of Pristress Concrete. 
as the meaning of pre-stress is that it is already in stress. When any type of load is applied on any material then different types of stresses are produced depending upon the nature of the load. Produced stress may be tensile stress, compressive stress, shear stress, bearing stress. Suppose if we are applying a load on any structure which will produce a stress in that material, what if an opposite stress is already present, which will counteract the stress produced by the load? Due to this already present stress, structure will work very effectively, and can bear the extra load, compared to the simple reinforced concrete. If we talk about the simple reinforced beam, if load is applied on that beam, if it is simply supported beam then compressive stress is generated at the top of beam, and tensile stress is generated at the bottom of that beam. As we already know that concrete is much better in compression than tension. For design purposes we neglect the tensile strength of the concrete, because it is very low. That's why to make beam sustainable in the tensile stress also, we provide the steel bars in tension zone. Pristress is also the same, but the only difference is that, we provide compressive stress in the bottom of beam before application of load, by pulling of steel wires. Let's we take an example of a rubber band, if we stretch it, and hold by an apple, then it tries to compress that apple. Same thing is used during making a pristress concrete. Pristress concrete is prepared by the two methods, first one is pre-tensioned concrete, and second one is post-tensioning concrete. Never be confused between the pristress concrete and pre-tensioning concrete, because pre-tensioned is the method to prepare pristress concrete. In pre-tensioned concrete, firstly steel wires are pulled, which will further act to produce compressive stress. After stretching of the steel wires concreting is done. When concrete achieve its characteristic strength then, the grip of steel wires are removed. As we remove the wire grip, it tries to compress the concrete, which produce compressive stress in the bottom of beam. In post-tensioning concrete a beam is casted firstly. During the casting, pipes are provided at the tension zone of the beam which is, at bottom for a simply supported beam. When concrete achieve its characteristic strength then, steel wires are inserted in these holes. Then these wires are stretched using hydraulic machines. After stretching, these wires are holed up at the end, and filled with the concrete. The principle of post-tensioning beam is same as the pre-tensioned beam. If you like this video then you can show your support by like and share this video. For more new technologies videos you can subscribe our channel. Assalamu alaikum. I am Mohamed Lumad Libi Mohanasi and I will present the advantages of precast concrete. <coughs> Why precast concrete is preferred compared to the conventional in situ construction method? There are some criteria that we have to take consideration. Okay, so first is time. The precast concrete element like column, beam, and slab can be cast in advance. And the precast element are transported to the site and ready to install immediately. It can directly live and place at the at the desired place, which is save time for installation work. The weather condition has no effect on casting work and it is faster than the conventional in situ method. So for the second is the cost. The precast concrete is cheaper if large structures are to be constructed. Less number of labor should be required as only joining of members should be done at the site and also less skilled labors are required for this job. And the third is quality control. In the case of precast concrete, quality can be controlled and maintained easily because precast concrete is made in the factory. The ideal conditions and exact measurements can be maintained throughout the process. And uh, the precast concrete give better quality in terms of durability, stability, and reliability compared to the conventional in situ construction method. The water cement ratio can be implemented properly, which can lead to the better quality control. 
for the last one is the curing conditions. In precast, concrete metal curing conditions can be controlled in factory and can achieve high early strength with the help of accelerating curing. Precast members also can be installed immediately with no need of waiting for to gain strength and modularity like cast in the place. So it can be immediately installed as already cured in the factory. Assalamualaikum and my name is Faidi. Uh, today I would like to talk about the is the precast concrete uh, environmentally. What is the sustainability? Sustain sustainability is a watchword in today's architecture and advanced construction materials. The term of sustainability is like green buildings, energy efficiency, and environmental friendly. One of the most popular sustainable product is precast concrete. First of all, why we prefer to use precast concrete is because it have a high quality control product due to control environment in factory. Concrete product come right from the under control material used in making concrete. The second, why we prefer to use precast concrete is because it consists of better material selection. All the ingredient is come from naturally ingredients such as Portland cement, silica and allows several chemicals. Thirdly, the precast concrete is using the high mechanized technology. Precast, man, precast is manufacturing holds tighter tolerance and precise mixture proportion. proportion. Lastly, it's it is environmentally because it reduces the amount of material used using construction process like molds and forms like recycling materials such as concrete aggregates and additives. Actually, precast manufacturing business recycle waste material that result in less material sense to landfills or dump into the environmental. The next slide, I would like to discuss about the precast concrete construction can reducing the carbon dioxide. Actually, the carbon dioxide is the colorless gas and the molecules consist of a carbon atom bonded with two oxygen. According to Wen Kai Luo in 2019, he had studied about the direct and indirect carbon emissions in foundation con construction. There are two case studies of driven precast and cast in situ pies. The emission source of carbon dioxide are from are come from material, equipment usage, and transportation. Why we prefer to use the precast concrete is because of its material. It can reduce the construction waste, monitor by highly experienced worker to check the quality control. The second is the equipment usage. This precast concrete does not add to construction indoor air quality, IAQ. And the thirdly is about the transportation. As we can see that the precast concrete, uh, the transportation trip to send the material only need one trip and we are compared to the in situ. So in the next slide, uh, the picture one show the example of driven driven precast pie, and the second picture show the example of cast cast in situ pie. So did the precast concrete can reduce the global warming effect? Global warming come from the greenhouse effect. The effect is it can increase the Earth's average temperature. It can affect the climate change because the energy related emission from human activities such as manufacturing and transportation.
Asian Emission Associate. According to Abdul Kadir in 2015, he had stated that the results show from his study reveal the environment impact of global warming potential. There is 85% of energy is consumed during the fabrication of material while the rest was due to the energy consumed uh, with 8%. Uh, transport with 6% and waste management with only 1%. The alternative building to reduce the global warming is by combining the precast concrete and timber to release less carbon dioxide emission compared to another material. In this study, he has conducted the CIMA Pro software was used to assess carbon dioxide emission caused by seven types of building seem in wall construction. The goal for this study is to mit mit mitigate global roaming from building construction by suggesting an alternative building seam for, for Malaysia. From the table, it shows the use of timber can reduce the global warming, but in Malaysia, climate is hot and humid. The wood uh, can encounter many defects. As a result, it shows that the combination of precast and timber, while we can see at the uh, at the graph, the H4 can minimize the effect of carbon dioxide emission for building. That's all from me. So this is reference for our research for our study. That's all. Thank you.